Disclaimer, there is no Gabriel in this video. Okay, so uh, if you follow Mr. TB, he tagged us in the Get to Know You Tag video that he did that I'm going to uh, post a link to that video in the description. Uh, he tagged us, so this is our Get to Know You Tag video. Okay, so there's a website that has 30 questions uh, that you are supposed to answer. So you're supposed to go through all these questions and answer them just to let everybody kind of get an idea of who you are. Um, but some of them, well 30 is a lot of questions, and especially if we're both going to answer and I tend to ramble. So we could be here all night. But <laughs> and some of them were about like high school and I'm not that old, but that was a million years ago and I don't remember any of you know the answers to those questions. So we picked I picked 15 questions uh, that we are going to answer. I'm going to ask the question and then um, Sarah doesn't know what question's coming. So she'll answer off the top of her head or I'll say what do you think my whatever you know and she'll answer and then we'll change for each other so without further ado here we go so the first question what is your middle name is it opposite yeah these are like control questions oh, okay oh that's right that's right are you who you say you are Lynn named after one of my uncles with what it so you're, but now you are Lynn Sharp, Sarah. Oh, Lynn Sharp. My, oh, that, you're right. My middle name now is just Sharp. <laughs> my maiden name. Yeah. So what is it? What's your full name? Tell us what your full name is. No, I don't want to put that on the internet. It's our okay. <laughs> so my middle name is Michael, named after my dad. So the second question: How old were you when you first saw your first dead body? I'm kidding. That's not the question. <laughs> The second, <laughs> the second question is actually, what is your favorite color? So, I think that yours has changed. Yeah. So, I'm not going to attempt to answer because I'll get it wrong. I don't really think that I have one. I, you stop having a favorite color when you're like, you know, 10. <laughs> I'm 34 and I have a favorite color. Green. I like green. It's always been green. Preferably the darker shades. No offense, Kelly Greens. <laughs> so you don't have a favorite color? Not really. I have a color scheme, black, white, and red, which you've seen from the footage of our living room. It kind of is the color scheme of our life. So there my you go. life. But I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Just... She used to like purple. Yeah. Purple used to be her favorite color. I mean, it's just a color. All right, question number three. How tall are you? 5'5". Five, five. Not short, not tall. Normal sized for a woman. You like had that answer ready. I thought. Well, I, I know how tall I am. The question is how tall are you? Because you get this wrong a lot. I do not know. It depends on which doctor's office you're in. <laughs> when we first started dating, he's like, oh, I'm 5'10". I was like, huh, that's funny because when I wear heels, I'm taller than you and I wear some pretty tall heels. I so think his doctor told me I was 5'10 once. He's either 5'7 or 5'9. I'm 5'8. <laughs> we'll go with the middle. I'm 5'8. He is not tall. <laughs> not tall. But I'm not tiny. Mm -hmm. I'm not tiny. I'm tiny. average. I'll say I'm average. You're petite. <laughs> petite? <laughs> Next question. This video is going downhill fast. <laughs> <laughs> who? Number four. Who? was your first best friend? Emily Wand. Emily Wand. Where do we know Emily Wand from? You know. Oh. Where do you know her from? Um, she was my first best friend. Did so, we go to school together? I think we went to school together. Okay. My first best friend was Justin Rogan. I was going to say it's a Rogan Moser, isn't it? It was Justin Rogan Moser. And we met at preschool and I ended up going to the school that I went to through 12th grade because I vividly remember my mom standing in the kitchen saying, do you want to go to this school? And I said, uh, and she said, Justin Rogan Moser's going there. And I said, okay, I'll go there. 
and then I was stuck there. That's where I ended up going. I wasn't stuck there, but that's where I ended up through that I graduated. So, cats or dogs? Dogs. Dogs. We're dog people. You save your cats. You can keep them. Kittens are cute. Until then, they grow up. And then they become cats. And they're not cute anymore. We don't want your cats. We're dog people. Alright. So the scrappers go down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to offend any cat people out there. To each his own. How many countries have you visited? Two. Name them. Australia and New Zealand. You visited more than that. Oh, that's right. We went to the Bahamas. And Mexico? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think the Bahamas... This is going to be embarrassing. I don't think that counts as a country. I don't know if it's a country. It's a pro I think it may be a province. But no, no, no. They compete in the... Wow. Well, do they compete in the Olympics? This is the embarrassing part of the video. So anyway, I've never claimed to know geography, so I'm not embarrassed. They got nice beaches. So I've been to those as well. And Africa. And Africa. Zambia. Africa's continent. Country of Zambia. Oh, okay. What is your favorite animal? Again, you stop having a favorite animal when you're probably 10. No, you don't. <laughs> I have an animal. I Mine is whales. I'm fascinated by whales. I think they're intriguing, incredible beasts, and I could watch them for hours. I don't think I have a favorite. I like animals. She likes baby pigs. Oh, piglets. I like baby anything, really. <laughs> oh, baby goats. Those are cute. <laughs> I don't have a favorite. Alright, so Sarah's favorite animals are babies. Yeah. The baby versions of all of them. Sounds right. <laughs> okay. Tea or coffee? Coffee. Coffee. 8,000 times a day. I would go 8,000. I have 4,000. <laughs> Dark, bitter coffee. Light, sweet I just coffee. drink it for the creamer, as my Aunt Susie would say. And if the sugar is still on the bottom of the glass when you finished, you put too much sugar in it. <laughs> Alright, what sports have you played? Don't, dis don't disappoint Gerald Sharp on this one. Um, T-ball. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> softball. Soccer. Fris ultimate Frisbee. Ultimate Frisbee. I did all of them. Let's see, baseball, track. baseball, you soccer. Track map. I, don't run. I did. I didn't do track. <laughs> I actually, I ran cross country. Oh well, running. I ran. <laughs> ran so far. <laughs> um, <laughs> I water. The so lights are so soccer, bright. <laughs> soccer, baseball, basketball. Uh, I dabbled in tennis, not professionally. Oh, I've played tennis. Badly. Uh, ultimate Frisbee. Could have been, I could have been pro in the Frisbee, I think. What is your favorite book? Again, <laughs> I read so much. You don't have a favorite? Like one that's the, the pinnacle that of, of just human artistic expression? Something that moves you when you read it, like every time without fail, you could say the first Harry Potter book and we won't think less of you. I'm just saying. What I mean, you gotta yeah, have. I like Harry Potter books. I mean, throw the Bible, say the Bible, just to appease our people. I mean, there's got to be, like, an old bunch of them behind us here. Well, if we're going to go with books that I read over and over again the most, definitely Harry Potter. I think I've reread that like four or five times, the entire series. So I guess we could say that. Okay. <laughs> Sarah gets the, the Harry Potter series. What's yours? Of Mice and Men. 
Oh, that's right. Of Mice and Men Forever. That book. Oh, no, The Great Gatsby. Sorry, I remembered. Great Gatsby. We were going, like, literary and... Yeah, you thought I was going to go Stephen King, didn't you? No. Really? You're going to say the Bible. <laughs> the Bible. The Bible. The Bible's up there. It's my number one. <laughs> I mean, you can't be too careful. The Bible's number one. Is everybody's number one. And you're number two. Of mice. Of mice and men. Steinbeck. Classic. All right. Here's another favorite, which I'm pretty sure you won't be able to answer. What's your favorite movie? Um, Crazy Stupid Love. Oh, I guess it was changed. Mm -hmm. It used to be Breakfast at Tiffany's, wasn't it? Never? I liked Breakfast at Tiffany's. It used to be The Notebook or something. You know, the lame, Notebook? Lame girl thing. Crazy Stupid Love. Okay. Crazy. Redemption Road. No, for a Resurrection. Redemption. You're, cl you're hitting, you kind of landing all around it. Something road. The word road is in the title. <laughs> Preservation. Nope. Redemption. Nope. Tom Hanks. Yep. Paul Newman. Resurrection. Jude Law. Redemption. Daniel, Daniel Craig. Nope. <laughs> I can see it. He's got the hat and the trench coat. Road to perdition. <laughs> uh, I had a shun and had then a the shun road. And the road. So it's road to perdition. Road to perdition. Redemption. <laughs> I'm going to go with that. <laughs> okay. Do you have any siblings? Yes. We already answered that question in a previous video. But we're in a new video, so name them. Ready, All set, go. Them? Let's just say I have X amount of whatevers. Four brothers and one sister, and they're all married, so I've got a multitude of brothers and sisters-in-law. So, on the exact opposite, I have one sister. She's married, so I have... You have a I multitude. Have, I have a multitude of brother-in-laws through this side. Yeah. On my side, Just I have the one. one sister and one brother-in-law. And one adorable nephew. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Some of my favorite TV shows. I think everybody's number one is Friends. Yeah. yeah. Friends. Can't go wrong with Friends. Um, Modern Family. You're going through the stuff we've watched today. Yeah. <laughs> She's running through her, our Hulu playlist in her head. I, Lost, is on my list. Because that, yeah, yeah, it ended weird. It was kind of disappointing the way it ended. But the intrigue of that show kept me coming back and kept me looking on the message boards and discussing things like a nerd. Like, oh my gosh, what is the smoke monster? Who is Jacob? What do the white and black things mean? There's a, a four-toed statue, which I still don't think that question was ever answered. If you know what the four-toed statue is or was, put it in the comments. Answer that question for me so that I don't have to go back and rewatch the entire series to figure out what it was. Lost. Oh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Hands down, favorite TV show. I can answer that unequivocally. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <sighs> so good. It's the reason why I have different hair every day. Seinfeld. <laughs> Sarah hates Seinfeld. But there's a show, it's up there with friends where you can I can watch it over and over You should have named the Halloween again. video, I Don't Want to Be a Pirate. I don't want to be a pirate. And, and I can really watch funny. it every, and it always makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. Seinfeld's hilarious. Mm -hmm. I love it. Next question. Next question. Okay. I know the answer to this. PC or Mac? Jacob is a Mac person. Mac makes me angry. I barely tolerate our MacBook. I can work my phone just fine. But I'm on a PC all day at work. And then I have to come home. I just want to copy and paste. Don't make me Apple command it's click. A, it's, it's, I just see? want... Yeah. Just like, just like a PC. It's just... One key of No. Next question. I'm a Mac person. Have been for a long time. Can do both. Proficient in both. Like Mac. Uh, Alright. Tell us one or some of your bad habits. Maybe we should do this for each other. 
No, we have a happy marriage. <laughs> Let's not start naming each other's bad habits. Uh, I'm selfish and lazy. <laughs> um, this video took a real dark. <laughs> it's a bad. Is that a habit? Or is that a bad quality? I don't know. That may be a bad quality. My bad habit. I shave over the sink. Ugh. And yeah. don't always get all of the stubble out. So there'd be little whisker pieces around the sink. And I try to I try to do it in the shower so that it just, the shower just washes it all away. But sometimes you go back in, you realize, oh shoot, I missed a little bit here. You know, and you kind of you do it again, and it throws some of it down to the sink. I used to be real bad and would shave the entire face over the sink and just leave it. Because I'm a dirty, gross boy. What, what is my bad habit? I'm, I'm not going to get it. not no, playing this game. You can't. Game. <laughs> you totally can. You have a free pass. <laughs> There's no such thing as a free pass. Fine. I mean, I know I have them, but now that I'm like on the spot to think of one. Oh, I think it's perfect. I know, the whole previous video is about how wonderful I am. No, it's not. It's okay, like a real look like it's two videos. No. <laughs> Sarah doesn't watch her vlog. That's a bad habit. <laughs> I do. <laughs> the vlog she's in. She doesn't always tap the uh, coffee out of the little coffee pots. She's gotten much better. She doesn't always tap it out. So we have a Keurig and we use the reusable little things so that we have to spend a whole lot. We save money on coffee by doing our own. And But you have to, they're a lot less convenient because you have, when you finish brewing it, you have to tap it out in the garbage can and <clears throat> rinse it out real good. And then, so it's ready for the next person. Sarah doesn't always do that. I thought of one. I don't put the toilet paper roll back on the <laughs> stand. I've gotten used to that. <laughs> no, I don't even care. <laughs> it used to make him angry. It used to bother me. Uh, now I feel like I need to think more. Nope, we're not doing that. So, <laughs> that is the end. That was question number 15. That's the end of the questions. Okay. So this is the part where we have to challenge, pass the tag on to someone else. Do you have anybody you would like to pass it on to? Happily ever minimal. Sarah likes Happily Ever Minimal. Link to her channel in the bayou. Bayou? The bayou. <laughs> We're Louisiana people. In the bio. You can't see that. You can't see that. It's a Louisiana Christmas ornament. So, Happily Ever Minimal. Link in the bio. In the bio. I did it again. In the bio. Just down in the description. It's in the description. Um, my PB and J. You guys can do that however you want. Um, since there's four of y'all. And I don't think one of them can talk yet. So, you know, but I'm tagging you guys, and this won't, we gotta tag one more. And Pam Williams' vlog. So, Pam. You. Who's got a son named Jacob. Aww. Just like me. Aww. The kid's broken like every bone in his body at one point or another. Aww. No, he's a tank. He didn't stop. He's impressive. Anyway, links to all those channels are in the uh, description, along with the link to the really long list of questions um, and any other information that's pertinent to the tag video. I'll make sure that's all in there. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so you get the notifications when we post videos. And tell us if you enjoyed this video in the comments. Yeah, comment on any of our answers. Tell us your bad habits or answer any of the questions you might want to. So. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on Monday.